Hey guys, it's Sensei Mewtwo12345 back for some more Let's Play Oblivion. In the last episode, we made it through that Oblivion Gate, and now we are going to begin the actual Battle of Kavach. The Daedra have invaded Kavach, and we are going to drive them all out. Before we do that, we must talk to Captain Matthias. Alright, Matthias. Give me orders and things, please. Let's get inside the chapel and make sure those folks are all right. If there are injuries, they'll need to be tended to right away. Well, then hurry your butt up into the chapel. You've had all this time. God. Jeez, Matthias, you're so slow. Lord soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir. But they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Civilians, it's time to move over. They make a pretty good point. Let's move Brother Martin to where they're going. Follow me. The way then. Alright. You just follow me and we'll go outside to where it's safe. Do 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 do. Outside we go. Man, there's a whole lot of scamps lying around. And actually. One thing I ought to do is this guy over here had something valuable. The Penis of Larceny, yes. We actually want to take this because I realized after the last recording that I actually do have another mace that is worth less and weighs pretty much just as much. So we'll drop that and call that good. And all right, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we have stuff that's in bad need of repair, don't we? Good thing I checked that. Let's go ahead and take out my repair hammers and fix those up. We need to fix that and that, and these are broken. We badly need to fix those. Fix this and fix all of these. Perfect. Everything is repaired. Good as new. You follow me. We're going to go outside. Let's see. Aw, you died. Steel longsword. Blade, one hand. It's pretty light. How light is the, my current equipped sword? I'm kind of wondering if I want to take this new sword. Let's see. Yeah, mine's so light that if I dropped it I wouldn't be able to carry that. Will I? What am I doing with arrows though? I don't need arrows. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... So how much damage does that do anyway? Let's see. Five. And my sword does five and weighs less. So we'll just keep my sword. Alright. Destruction spells... Destruction magic is spells that disintegrate weapons and armor, making them break sooner. Oh, don't you hate it when people do that to you in this game. And that's the thing I like about this game as far as being a mage goes, is there are a whole lot more spell effects in this game than there are in Skyrim. And I mean a whole lot more. Like in Skyrim, per class of magic, there were maybe... Like in Destruction, there is just three different kinds of Destruction spells, Fire, Frost, and Shock. In this game, the Destruction spells do a little bit more than that. And pretty much every other spell effect has like a million different... Uh, pretty much every other spell class, I mean, has like a million other spell effects. Whereas Oblivion, there's three in Destruction, and I think the most spell effects there are is Alteration, and there's like six different spell effects. And you can't go to any place like the Arcane University to make those spell effects stronger. So, 
that's one thing I like about this game, is there are a ton more spell effects. And then I really didn't like how there's only four different possible things you can summon in Skyrim. You know, there's a plethora... Well, fine, as we progress, there's a plethora of stuff you can summon in this game. And Conjuration really is a skill you should learn. Because it's the easiest of the magic skills to learn in this game. It levels the fastest. Yeah, you wait here. You know, level's the fastest out of all of the spell classes in the game. And it's also the most useful, arguably, for any class. Like, really, you should learn Conjuration. It doesn't really matter what class you are. You could be a warrior, and then Conjuration is still useful just to have the extra reinforcements on demand. And then a thief, you can obviously see the many implications implications of conjuration there you can always use conjuration to summon up new or just summon up distractions rather Ugh. can't talk for some reason that's not good when we're trying to record but at any rate we are going to go back up here and quit all this walking around my acrobatic skill increase from walking up and down that hill with brother martin I just kind of felt like placing Brother Martin down there because it was a safe place. But now we'll head back in here and open the door back into Kavash. Let's get back in here and do things. An expert of light armor will not be encumbered while wearing it. Hopefully we'll get to that point. I kind of doubt we will, seeing as as a bow mage, I probably won't be engaging in direct contact, direct conflict as much like melee combat. You know, I'll mostly keep it ranged with destruction spells and summons and things like that. But since I do have a blade skill, if something does get that close, I can fight close range. That's the good thing about being a battle mage, is you have no weaknesses. We've done it. I can't believe it. I didn't really think this would work. Maybe we do have a fighting chance. Oh, yes. We're not done, not even close. This was only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? If we're truly going to succeed, I'll need much more of your help. I warn you, though, what we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. When you're ready, let me know, and we'll get underway. Are you kidding? These enemies are noobs. Are you ready to go? If you're to confident that you can fight them, and I have so much more battle experience, then I'll be of a crap ton of use to you. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd be up to it. Our goal is the castle gate. We should be able to use this door to get out to the plaza in front of the castle gatehouse. You know the drill. Stick close and keep your eyes open. Let's move out! Alright, let's go. Go destroy some Daedra. Destroy their faces. Every single one of their faces. You know what? I should have bought a new Conjuration spell and then sold my stuff before entering this battle. But we've entered it. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Let's just go kick butt. Alright. You... Actually, I probably want to avoid using area of effect spells, considering I have so many allies. Alright, you get back here, you. Stupid flame Atronach, die already. Jeez, so many people with low health trying to help here. You know, why are you even trying, bro? Your health is too low. Oh. Yeah, there you go, you die. Perfect. And we have another Frost Atronach. Alright. And you are dead. There we go, you died. I need to aim more properly. Damn it! This is no good. The gates are locked, and the only way to open them is from within the gatehouse. Um, Castle Gate. We can't open that gate from out here. The only mechanism for raising it is inside the gatehouse. And the only way to get into the gatehouse now would be through the passage of the North Guardhouse, but that's always kept locked. Hurry and find Barrich Inian. 
He should be back in the chapel. And should still have the key to the guardhouse. Once you've got it, get to the guardhouse, find the passage, and open that gate. Then we can get inside the castle and secure it. All right, awesome. We need to go find this person. I will go find your person with the key and destroy absolutely everything that stands in my way. All right, Barrich Inian. That's who we're looking for. We saw the smoke from the gold road while out on patrol. How can we help? Oh, awesome. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. All right, you guys are awesome, and I need to talk to you. I'm just waiting for Captain Mattias to give the order. Finally, a chance to fight. Your eyes are massive. Do you know that? Look at your eyes. They're huge. I'll never forget him. He saved as many as he could that terrible night. If only they'd listened and stayed with us in the chapel. All right, guardhouse key. Yes, I have it. Because we kind of need to get into the castle in order to win this battle. You know, important things like that. That's right. They managed to close the castle gates just before we were forced in here. I'm afraid you're in for a tough time, friend. The city's in bad shape, and it will be difficult to make it to the guardhouse by yourself. I'd better go with you. We'll have to go through the chapel undercroft, and then through what's left of the city. If, if I don't make it... Take the key and carry on without me. You'll need to reach the tower at the north wall of the city. She's confident you're not going to make it, are you? Be optimistic. Let's go out here and destroy the crap out of Daedra. That's what we're here to do. Um, did I go the right way? I kind of don't think I did. Man, he probably already got himself killed. He needs to stick close. Where did he go? The red arrow is pointing me everywhere. What in the bloody world? Huh. I'm right over where it says he went. Where did he go? Oh, he went in here. Okay, he's probably already got himself killed by now. All right. Luckily, we're lucky, and he didn't get himself killed yet. Alright, you. Kill you with my sword, since I have plenty of experience dropping scamps to pieces. Alright, we slaughtered him. Where are these guys going? Okay, move on ahead. Jeez. I don't suppose you have to kill all of them. Maybe we should turn the brightness up. I can't hardly see, but oh well. And this Fender led to hopeless defense against superior force. Despite his grave defeat, statue stands in Kavach. Well, not anymore. All right. You die, you stupid scamp. No one likes you. Okay. Better stick close to you and make sure you don't get yourself killed. All right. No, that's a little too many enemies for you to be fighting at once. He's totally gonna die, I can tell right now. Unless I save his sorry butt, of course. Oh. You don't have to engage everything at once, you morons. I mean, we can run ahead of them, can't we? I die, everything. Perfect. Everyone somehow managed to live, but he has barely any health left. I wish I could heal him. But unfortunately, I neglected to make a spell that I could use to heal things on target. Something I should definitely do later. Alright. Die, you stupid Daedras. Yes! Okay. Have we reached the area yet? All right, he'll probably just unlock the door when we get there. All right. I'll go ahead and kill this guy. These guys also need to learn to stay out of my way while I'm shooting spells. Oh, he died. He got himself killed. Oh, well. 
kind of predicted he would get himself killed. He predicted it too, but let's see. Oh man, all the guards are getting themselves killed too. And honestly, I thought they would. We're the one who has all the power here. And you are about to die. I'll just use my spell to finish you out of distance. What nows? Okay. Now we don't want any of that stuff right now. Let's just restore our health. I said let's restore our health. Where is our restore health? Hello. Here it is. I should also use my protect spells more. I mean, I made them, and it cost me, like, all my money at the time. We'll just have to take this, and I'll also take your gold. It's not a crime to take gold off of dead bodies. Let's see. Now I can just head down here myself. Oh, that's pretty sad. Oh, what are you doing? Herp derp. I'm just going to stand here and admire this for a second. All right. That's enough. I pity these guys. Do I have a shock spell? Yes, I do. Ah, force lightning. Holy crap. That killed him in one hit. I need to use that spell. All right. Lead the way. I'm right. Good, good. It's nice to know that I can depend on you. Let's open this. found the tunnel entrance in Kavach, I need to follow it to the gatehouse so I can raise the gates and let the guards into the castle courtyard. Alright, let's go destroy more noobs. Summon our scamp, make sure we've got the extra reinforcements from that. And go pwn more people, if there are any more peoples. Let's see... The thing we need to go into is right here. Ah, it's this ladder. Okay. Let's go and open up this gatehouse for everyone. And you need to not do anything stupid. Okay? Don't do anything to get yourself killed. Let's open this. I've raised the gates into Castle Kavach. I must now help Savvy and his men defeat the monsters within. We'll go ahead and make awful short work of them. Alright. Okay, here we go. Got that up. Savvy and Matthias is unconscious. Luckily, characters that are important to the main quest cannot die. They just go unconscious, according to the thing. And yeah, I need to use that spell. It does a crap ton of damage, apparently. Although... These guys are weak to frost, so we should probably just go ahead and use the frost spell on them. Hey! Alright, you. Oh, friendly fire killed him. Lol. That's what you get for being derps. And every single one of the town guards is dead, except for Savvy and Matthias, who can't die. Oh, well, that typically happens, because they are derps, and get themselves into fights that they can't win and things like that. So go and kill my scamp. Only these guys and my scamp do get out here. No use to waste my, no use wasting my own energy. There we go. Taking the gate, now what? This area is clear. We've got to get inside and find the count before it's too late. Move out! Look at what's happened, though. I'm pretty sure the Count's already dead. The city has been completely leveled. Do you really think that the Daedra are going to distinguish who the Count is and not kill him? Just saying. Alright. You just shot me with fire, and I don't appreciate it, and you are going to die for it. Mr. Flame Matronach of Doom! Quit knocking Matthias unconscious, will you? Ah. Let's see. 
yeah, this I probably should have brought another summon into this fight. Probably would have been a lot easier if I did. Savius, stop getting yourself rep repeatedly killed. Just let me do all the fighting, because I have more experience fighting these guys, and I'm much, much more powerful. Alright. You are dead. Now it's your turn. Man, I remember the first time I went through here, I had such a hard time, because I still knew just novice level spells. Like, I still only knew the spells that come with the... that you actually start with in the beginning. Let's see, I guess Havili and Matthias is going to stay there, and we can just continue on ahead on our own. A journeyman of block does not have his shield damaged by blocking. Good. Good, good, good. Valuable information for the future if we ever actually get to that level in block, which I kind of doubt. We won't be experiencing close combat that much throughout the course of the game. Ugh. All right, why are you guys just randomly burning everything? I need this explained. You came here to take the city, and then you just raise it to the ground. So what was the point of taking the city? I mean, you could have had a base of operations here, but you just burned it down. Herp derp to that is all I have to say. Okay, let's see. We want to... Actually... Let's not go in here, because we can't really take anything more. I would have just looted that room, but can't really, because of shenanigans and that. All right, you, Mr. Flame Matronach. No, 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 no. You will not come close to me this day. And what do we have in here? Ugh. The Count's quarters. And let me guess, he's dead. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people in here. The chandeliers have all fallen down. Things are a mess. And let's kill this flame at knock and get that over with. Hey, don't jump on me. I don't appreciate being tackled. And yeah, it's as I feared. Found the body of Count Goldwine. I should deliver his signet ring to Savile and Matthias. We'll take his gold and his ring. Actually, we need this ring. Holy crap, it's worth a lot of money. If only we could take that with us. But it's probably just going to end up in Savly and Matthias' dead pocket. Oh, we lost the count. The city's doomed. Just wonderful. Look what you've done, you stupid Mordor ripoffs. How dare you. You destroyed a city. Alteration magic has a shield spell. Yes, we know that. Now, we'll take that to Savly and Matthias, and the Battle of Kvatch will be over, I'm guessing. Where is the Count? Why is he not with you? Because he's obviously dead. Did you really think that he would make it? Sorry, he didn't make it. We... If only we'd gotten here sooner. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Did you find the Count's ring by any chance? Yes, I did. Here it is. At least, this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time when a new Count is crowned. Here, take this. I have no use for it. I'm tired of fighting. No, don't give me your sword. Don't give me your sword. I'm going to be over encumbered now. You're giving me all of your armor. Ugh, I hate you. Did you really think? Uh, we'll see how much it's worth. Kvatch... K <gasps> Holy crap, that's worth a lot of money. We'll just go ahead and drop this. Oh, that actually makes me quite happy. Let's see. I obviously don't plan on keeping it. Or wait. Or do I? 
Does it protect more than my current Curious? No, it doesn't. So we'll be selling it, but it is worth a humongous crap ton of money. Oh, that's just lovely. Thank you, Matthias. Can we fast travel from here, possibly? Need to make this our active quest. And I would like to be able to fast travel from here. No, we can't. That's kind of lame. At any rate, we need to move to a place where we can fast travel. So let's just go to the chapel here and leave, I suppose. Well, we have to find Martin and take him with us. We'll be making a short run to the Imperial City. And then we'll take Martin to Wayne and Priory and end the episode there. So, let's see. First, we need to go get Martin. Luckily, now we can just jump down the hill because we don't have to worry about Martin. Alright. Let's go over to this gate. And at any rate, other things to talk about. Now that that's done, and we're probably just going to be walking for the majority of the of the rest of the episode. Things to talk about. How are you doing, guys? Just, like, how are you doing, I guess? You know, me, summer's almost here, the homework load is going down, and obviously I'm pretty happy about that. And I thought the game was going to freeze there for a second. Where did Martin go? Why is it saying Martin is all the way over here? What in the world? Where's the map? What? What? Martin went all the way over to Wayne and Priory by himself? Wait, hang on. I find this somewhat hard to believe. I need to go double check and make sure Martin isn't where I left him. Because I find it kind of hard to believe that Martin walked all the way to Wayne and Priory without me when I clearly commanded him to stay where he was. I don't care if you're the future emperor. You know, I don't care if you're Uriel Septim's heir. When I tell you to stay put, you need to listen. There are reasons why I've told you to do this. Very, very good reasons, obviously, because can you not see the hordes of Daedra destroying the city above you? Okay, Martin is where I left him, okay. Unless you need something. Yeah, follow me. The Wayne and Priory, then. Actually, our first stop will be the Imperial City to stell off, stell, sell off my stuff. Go to the marketplace market district and then we are going to sell off some things and then I'll be taking Martin to Wayne and Priory or depending on how much gold we have we might be running and buying a new conjuration spell so we'll see what happens here all right we're actually at 28 minutes so we need to make this fast Let's go ahead and find places to sell all these items. If I had a about and go advice. ahead and arm myself with my strongest charm spell here. Should do that. Let's put on Begealing Touch's charm 12 points and last longer, so I guess we'll be using that. We'll go to a fighting chance. And that will they'll probably want the things that we have there. Alright. We'll just touch you with this and sell things. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. And I offer advanced training for armorers. Your face is ugly. At any rate. May I interest you in some of my fine ways? No, but can I interest you in some of mine? Alright. I'll be selling you today. The Penis of Larceny. I want to get a little bit more for that. 
how about um, 60% of value? Can we get that? That's kind of fair. Make me up oh, god dang you. You cheap skate. God, your face is ugly and you're a cheap skate. At any rate, we'll try 55. No, dear. God dang you. What about 50%? Man, you cheap skate, you. At any rate, there we go. That's sold. And we'll also sell these, I guess. Get them out of my inventory. A good price for a good customer. All right, there we go. At any rate, that's all we'll be selling to you. Another satisfied. Satisfied? Do I look satisfied Bye. to you? You ripped me off. That curious was worth twice as much as I paid you for it. It's like Pawn Stars. I, well, I guess they are out to make their own money. It's like Pawn Stars. They need to make a profit, so they need to buy it for less than what it's worth. But whatever. I don't care. I want my monies. Okay. Man, we actually did that awful slowly. We've passed 30 minutes into the episode. But I want to get this part of the main quest done, because after this we won't be returning to the main quest until we've done pretty much everything else, because I want to end with the main quest. I just need to get this out of the way so that Oblivion Gates would start popping up. And holy crap, we got fighting here. Help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Waynon Priory! Hold on, tell me what happened, even though I can clearly see what's going on right behind you, that guy chasing you. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead. Who's attacking Wayne and Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly, weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe? <sighs> I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us. All right, you. You are not going anywhere. I'm clearly the better sword fire than you. Uh... The time of frenzy. <laughs> oh, don't start being derps. Luckily... Brother Martin can handle himself well, pretty well, pretty much on his own. God's blood! They came out of nowhere. Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? Ernar said he was in the chapel. Quick! He may need our help. All right, well, let's go. We'll summon a new scamp so that we got extra things going on. Your timing is excellent. Guess it. I'll just. Oh. Uh. Destroy this guy's face. Alright, you. You are dead. Okay. Yeah, luckily, Brother Martin, being a priest, can heal himself, so. Don't worry about him dying. Without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. I'll go check on the amulet, I guess. We'll go together, but I fear the worst. Yeah, the let's see. For the amulet of kings. Well, stay armed. You never know if there's more of them. Take their gold, though. Their gold is more important than the amulet of kings. Take all. Okay. Got all their gold. Now let's go check the Amulet of Kings. Which allows them to run faster and things and more loading screens and all that. And there's the robe that I left behind. How can I help you? They've taken it. The Amulet of Kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. Well, god dang it. At least I found Martin. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will Martin be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. 
Cloudruller Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. All right, well, awesome. I'm not sure I want to talk to you about any of this extra stuff right now because we need to end the episode and I have things to do that I guess I'll just do off camera. So this has been Sensei Mewtwo12345, ending this gaming lesson.